Once there was a farmer who had two sons, A.G.K. and Chima. One morning he said to them, Boys, you are old enough now to get married, but in our family, we have our own way to choose a bride. You must cut down a tree and see where it points, then walk that way till you find a bride. That's how we've done it and that's how we always will. The elder son AGK already knew who he wanted to marry and also knew how to cut a tree so it fell how he wanted. His tree fell pointing towards the house of his soon-to-be bride. The younger son Chima didn't have a bride in mind but he thought he should just try his luck. Unfortunately, his tree fell pointing towards the forest. Good job, Chima, HK mocked. Maybe you'll bring back a wolf or an antelope back as a bride. Never mind, said Chima. I'll find who I find. And the two brothers went their ways. Chima walked through the forest for hours without seeing a soul. But at last he came to a hut deep in the forest. He went inside but saw no one. All this way for nothing, he said sadly. Maybe not, came a tiny voice. Chima looked around but the only living thing in sight was a little mouse on the table. Did you say something? he asked. Of course I did. Now why don't you tell me your name and what you came for? Chima explained everything to the mouse. The little mouse then offered to be his bride. But you're a mouse, he said. That may be true, but I can still love you faithfully, replied the mouse. Disappointed, since he found no one else after coming this far, he accepted the little mouse offer. When Chima got home, AGK was already boasting about his bride. What about yours, Chima? asked their father. Chima didn't want to admit his bride was a mouse, so he said, Mine is lovely and caring. Well, it sounds like your tree pointed a good way too, said their father. Tomorrow, you'll bring them home for the wedding. That's how we've done it and that's how we always will, he said to both of them. When Chima told the mouse about their father's request, it became excited and was ready to go with him. He thought for a while what his brother, father, and all the neighbors would think of him for bringing a mouse home as a bride. At last, he decided to return home with the mouse. Besides, she was as lovely and caring as any good bride would be. When they reached the village and then the spot for the wedding, at the bank of a swift flowing stream, the guests were already enjoying themselves. But as Chima came up, they all grew silent and stared at the little mouse. AGK stood up angrily as Chima walked up to him with the mouse. That's the stupidest thing I ever saw, he said and with one kick sent the little mouse and her carriage into the stream. Before Chima could do anything, the current bore them away. What have you done? cried Chima. You've killed my bride. Are you crazy? That was only a mouse, his brother replied. Chima was about to swing at his brother when his father called. Look, Chima! All the guests were staring downstream and pointing and crying out in wonder. Chima turned and to his amazement saw horses pulling a carriage out of the stream. And out came a soaked but beautiful princess in a lovely gown. Chima, said the princess, aren't you going to help me down? He stared blankly a moment and then his eyes flew wide. Are you the little mouse? I sure was, said the princess. But no longer, a witch enchanted me and the spell could only be broken by one brother who wanted to marry me and another who wanted to kill me. But honey, I need a change of clothes. I can't be wet at our wedding. And the grand wedding it was, with Chima's bride, the wonder of all. 
The next day, the princess brought Chima back to the hut, but it was a hut no longer. It was a big mansion with hundreds of servants, and there they made their home and lived happily ever after.